Kratos, their chieftain. one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they took some comfort from his death. They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. There are us. Good girls. <laughs> Look. 
Look, there's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Scouted ahead, the lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. Have we more to talk about? Survived a giant's corpse to a stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Her. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Let's find your wolves. Get back to tracking the Norns. Mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That's a pickle? Merely curious. 
If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. <laughs> the Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. Another dead end. search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. Are we holding off looking for the Norns? <laughs> what is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Learn some new item recipes. I'll heat up the forge. Oh, got time to chat? You won't believe it, Mimi. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you see? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Another crane. Oh! 
Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. So this outpost is what's left of Fjordtalund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the party. Seems it only rotates in the other direction. <laughs> I can hold on to those crests from Vanaheim, if you don't mind.
Anything more to discuss? Let's see. up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, in my travel, I heard of a great battle in your homeland. It's a place called the Gates of Fire. We heard gates. You are there? Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years. But no longer. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water is. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be It's on your right side! <laughs> the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Always the third place you look. Hmm. 
Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. memory a rather hostile memory at that these fates should know I will not be deterred <gasps> Always finds somebody to blame. 
know-it-all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Room magic! Came from the runic core! Bloody hell, look at that thing! <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you? Babbling. official. Oh! 
Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Imagine them thinking I had... Let me! Secret? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought a favor! You quashed his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave us a day until you turned on you! I know, Caesar. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful and you used them! watch out! There's more of them! Easy now! You see a private god in me and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you are! It's who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Pass the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. <laughs>
here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When and my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. 
as part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Your accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone <sighs> care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. The passage is gone. Norns covering their tracks already. Hmm. To the sled, then.